Assalamualaikum and good day to all my students. So today, we go to chapter 2, Descriptive Statistics for the second content, 2.2, Measures of Variation. So 2.2, Measures of Variation. So Measures of Variation. Measures of Variation, or we can call it as a Measures of dispersion are measures that determine the spread of data values. So under the measures of variation, we will calculate first, we will calculate range, okay, the simplest measures of variation. And second, we calculate variance. And the third one, we calculate the standard deviation. So measures of variation may help researchers to describe data more accurately. So, variance and standard deviation are used quite often in inferential statistics. Okay, so we look at measures of variation for ungrouped data. Okay, so here is the formula. Okay, to find range, variance and standard deviation. Okay, we look at the range first. Formula for range is very simple. Okay, so formula for range is x max minus x min so what is the x max is the highest value and x min is the lowest value okay very simple then we go to the variance and standard deviation okay we look at the variance first so variance we have two formula here okay variance for population which is sigma square and variance for sample which is s square okay when you look at the formula, so the difference between these two formula, okay, you look at the uh, denominator here, okay, for population, we divide by N. N is a population, okay, number of population, but for sample, N minus 1, okay, we minus 1. That is the difference between population and sample. So, same to standard deviation here, okay. Uh, standard deviation is the square root of the variance, okay. You get the value uh, of variance, you just square root. So, we have square root here, okay. Because of we have square root here, we don't have a square. So, population standard deviation is a sigma and po uh, standard, sorry, sample standard deviation is a S. We just square root the values of variance. Okay, so we have example 2.4 here. Okay, the following data is the A condition sales data of Zainuddin company. So we have that data. Find the range. Okay, what is the formula for range? Okay, X max minus X min. So what is the value for X max? So X max high values is 18 and the lowest value here is 8, right? So 18 minus 8 then we will get 10 okay very simple so find the mean okay so because this is a sample so the symbol for mean is x bar okay by using the formula we sum up all the data here and divide by so what is the sample size here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay divide by 8 then we'll get 11.1250. Sample variance. Okay. So because of sample variance, so the symbol is S squared. Okay. And the last one is sample standard deviation is S. Okay. So in calculation for X bar, essentially it's 18 plus 11 plus 14 plus 8 plus until 8. Divide by 8. Then you get this value. For variance, okay, so S square is the summation of X minus X bar, right? Divide by N minus 1. Summation of X minus X bar, okay. So we have X bar here, 11.12. So X, X is each of the data. So, 18 minus 11.1250 in bracket plus, okay, the second data, 11 
minus 11.1250 plus the third data is 14 14 minus 11.1250 until the last data and all this one you divide by n minus 1 equal to 7 okay then you get this data for s you just square root this one come from square root of 1 2 1 5 1 2 sorry square root of 12.1250 so we have exercise 2.3 uh, so do this one and we will discuss this later okay so measures of variation for group data this one is same with the measures of sensor tendency for group data this one is just for your additional knowledge okay so i just give you the formula and some example here you can just read it and go through one by one the example and also the solution given okay so properties of variance and standard deviation okay Variance is the average of the squares of the distance each value is from the mean. Okay. If the data values are near the mean, the variance will be smaller. Okay. But if the data value are far from the mean, variance will be larger. Okay. These two. Okay. So variance is always positive value. Remember that variance is always positive value because of we have square okay any number you square it it become a positive value so there is no unit for the resultant variance no unit for variance okay well for standard deviation so as we know that standard deviation is the square root of the variance okay so standard deviation is always positive value since the variance is positive so standard deviation should be positive too Okay, so the unit of standard deviation are similar as the unit of the data. Okay, why we need measures of variation? Okay, why we need this uh, data, okay, this calculation? So, for example, suppose we wish to compare the performance of two workers, Patrick and Anna, in the same company based on hours of work with the same mean. Okay. So we have two person here, Patrick and Anna, with their uh, hours of work. Okay. When we calculate the mean here, look at this one, X bar. Okay. Mean for the Patrick's, okay, equal to 9. Same to the mean for Anna, equal to 9. So uh, since both get the same values of mean, so how do we compare these two okay so we compare it by using the measures of validation okay so the mean values are the same okay but spread or variation of the hours quite different so how to determine the spread or variation of the hours by using the measures of validation by using calculate the variance or standard deviation okay so when the the mean value are equal, the larger the data range is, the more the variable the data are. So we need to calculate the range first. Okay, so compare the range. Okay, here calculate the range. So maximum minus minimum value. So Anna get nine, Patrick get two. Okay, can see here range for Anna is greater than Patrick's. Okay, so Anna is more variable than Patrick's. However, range is not suitable because range ignore the other data. We only concern the largest and smallest only. Okay, we ignore other data. So the best, okay, the best uh, calculation, okay, to find the variation is variance. Okay, we need to find the variance. So, we calculate value for Patrick, we get 0 0.5. Variance for Anna is 12. So, from this data, we can conclude that Anna is more variable. Why? Because of variance Anna, variance Anna, which is 12, is greater than variance Patrick, which is only 0 0.5. So, Patrick performance 
is more consistent because less variable and less spread. Okay, by using comparing data set, okay, so make sure the data set have the same unit and variables so we can compare the variance or standard deviation. Okay, so if the variance or standard deviation for the first data is less than the second data, we can conclude that it is less dispersed, less spread, and less variable. Okay, so from this one, we can conclude that if the data is less dispersed or less variable so it means that the data is more consistent more precise and more accurate so in conclusion the population one is a better data okay better data smaller standard deviation okay so we have example 2.6 here okay so we have two brand of pain brain a and b so find mean variance and standard deviation for both brand which brand is more consistent okay so we need to calculate mean okay so mean for both brand is 35 okay so this is x bar why because of sample okay this is a sample so variance for brand a is 3 to 0 while brand B, variance for brand B is 50. Okay, so how to find the standard deviation? Just square root of 3 to 0. Okay, standard deviation for brand B, square root of 50. Okay, so which brand is more consistent? We look at the variance here. Okay, compare between these two brands. So, since variance brand B... Okay, when B less than A because uh, variance brand B is 50, so less than variance brand A, okay, which is 3 to 0. So, sales of pain brands, so this one is brand, brand B is more consistent, less variable and less spread than brand A, okay. So we have also exercise 2.4 so do it and later we will discuss okay so how to compare data if that data have the different unit and variable okay so if the data have a different unit and variable for example here we want to compare number of car and commission so obviously these two have two different units and two different variables okay so how to compare it so we have coefficient of variation siva okay so if siva less than siva 2 okay siva 1 less than siva 2 coefficient of variance then the variable variable 1 is less variable than variable 2 it's same to the uh, variance so if the variance is a uh, variant for the first data is less than second data so we can conclude that less variable okay so how to calculate coefficient of variance for population okay sigma divided by mu times hundred percent this is for population while for sample s divided by x bar times hundred percent Okay, so a very useful measure when the data series are completely in different measurement unit. Okay, so the result is expressed as percentage. Okay, so last one, exercise 2.5. So do this. So we will discuss on our online class. So that's all for 2.2 measures of variation. Thank you.